Hello there everybody, this is Graham, also known as The Collector 75. Welcome to another Transformers Generation 2 review. This one is something that is fairly special to me. Um, it is the Advanced Tactical Bomber Dreadwing with Smoke Screen. Now it's special to me because this is one of the only Japanese Generation 2 figures that I have. I could have got um, the Combat Hero Megatron and Optimus Prime, I think the guy that I saw who had them, who I got this off, did have those. And I thought about it and I thought, now, do you know what? Nah, don't really need them. They're exactly the same as the American versions. And yeah, they just sort of didn't appeal to me really. There was a bit weird, the Japanese ones on these ones, but I didn't have this one. So that's why I got this one. Right, before we get on to that, I just want to show you a few things that I've been buying lately because I like doing that. Um, I did get these the other day. These are issue 64 and 65 of my Judge Dredd Mega Collection thing. We've got Hunting Party and Behind the Iron Curtain with red razors. Um, do you like that? Uh, I like my Judge Dredd. And then I did get this. I'm glad these are finishing soon. I ain't got too many more of these. I wish, to be honest, I wish I'd never got these ones, but they were the only ones I were doing at the time. Uh, we've got Venom and Excalibur, issue 90 and 91. Uh, these I'm really sort of like getting for my son, really. Um, otherwise, I probably wouldn't have bothered because they're very expensive for what they are. When you could probably buy the normal versions for like four quid or something like that for the planet. Uh, right, and what else have I bought lately? Um, I did get. Uh, haven't got this. Well, I actually got this a while ago. Um, I got this when it was on offer. Um, I can't remember it for four now. 14 quid in Toys R Us. So I bought that. You know, that was back around Christmas. But I've got something that I need for that. We've got some Repro labels now. I ordered these nearly two months ago. And they finally turned up. Actually, it was about seven weeks ago. Um, so I've got some labels for him to read him. Because he looks a bit plain with those stickers. And these ones give him a bit of a bit of a more funkier look. Um, I have no idea why on this sticker sheet they've included all robot insignias for him. Um, I don't know, maybe it's some weird IDW bloody thing or something, I don't know. Um, but I'll tell you what I have included, and I thought, oh yeah, that's alright. For some reason I thought I only included one of these. These are like some extra labels, but these are really good ones. These are printed on clear plastic. Um, they are really good uh, for mimicking, you know, like the painted sort of like decals you get on like the masterpiece figures. They're really good for them ones, they are really good. I like them, so I'm glad they included two, three of those. That was pretty cool. And I did get some other labels. I got this one for Revenge of the Fallen. Was it Revenge of the Fallen? Yeah. Uh, sideways. Um, that was more of an impulse, but I didn't really need it or want it. But I thought, well, do you know what? I want it. So there we go. And then I did get this for my masterpiece, um, Optimus Prime. Um, these are mainly for his trailer. Um, I just think it needs it, and I've been I'm in an iron over that over a few for a few years, and um, I had they sent me a uh, discount code, so for like fifteen dollars off or something like that. So do you know what? I thought, that's that's why I got them. Otherwise, really, I wouldn't have bothered. Um, and also, I did get these. A um, little bit annoyed about these. These are these some parts for like Titans Return, Frenzy or Rumble, whatever you want to call him. Uh, these sort of like like his guns, but they've sent me two of the same one when there should be a left and right, as far as I can see. That was nice of them. Hopefully, but then again, they are sort of like nice people. So hopefully I shall uh, get the right one sent to me or something like that. But there we go. Um, they're not bad. wish they'd come in silver, though. I mean, I could paint them, but I quite like them in black. But I'll probably try painting them at some point in the future. Um, and what else did I get? I think that is about it. I've got one more item. Let's get rid of him. Now, I have sort of sold out a little bit. And I did pick this up today. This is... The Last Night Berserker. Um, I know I said I wasn't going to buy any, but then again, I did say I wouldn't buy any at full price, and they've just gone down in price in Toys R Us and The Entertainer, funnily enough. Um, yeah, Toys R Us is just beating The Entertainer. These were $16.99. Um, still a little bit expensive. I was really umming and ahhing. It's only because I got to talk to a bloke in there, and... Um, he was quite a fan of Transformers as well, so we got talking for eight. I think it was talking for about 20 minutes. Uh, the guy works there. Uh, and in the end, I thought, do you know what? I'm going to buy it. Um, I'm glad I did, actually, because when I bought it, um, on, on, using my gold card with it, I got a £5 voucher. So tomorrow I'm probably going to buy either Slash or Barricade. Um, I don't know which one yet. Um, anyway, so it only cost me a tenner, roughly, give or take. Um, yeah, he's all right. I haven't opened them yet. I might keep them in the box. Well, I'll open it, but then I'll keep them in the box. 
so yeah so i'm not buying full price for any of those um let me just move my camera ever so slightly so i've got room to maneuver around here right so back onto the actual figure that you probably look <laughs> tuned in for uh right so this is um a dreadwing and smoke screen and he of course turns into an uh, um, a stealth bomber now you gotta think back in the day this was the most advanced plane going i believe um the people weren't even allowed to take pictures of this plane or and i think the u.s government even denied that they existed even though people had managed to take pictures of it um and stuff like that it of course was really good because it could evade radar and everything like that now i'm pretty certain a lot of pl different planes can i don't know i'm not really up on it to be honest but it's a good box i like the g2 in japan they've got a nice picture of him they called him the emperor of destruction in japan for this one and they did give him some extra modes i'm not going to turn him into these because it's a right nightmare trying to do that but you can see he turns into this weird launching platform for some of these cyber jets and up here we've got this one, um, which is a kind of weird battle station-y type thing. I have no idea. They're just sort of like making this up. Um, oh, this one. is. This is called the... I don't know if you can read it here. It's got some English amongst all this Japanese writing. It's called the Dread Roadblock. And this one is the Crab Ambush. Yeah, this is not too bad, is it, eh? Uh, I like this. Now, I thought they made these up just for this, but these are actually taken from the American adverts for Generation 2 toys. Um, which were computer generated um, so this is was the first computer generated animated thing that you got for transformers was those carter uh, adverts for the old g2 before beast wars and they don't look too bad i've seen them they don't look too bad uh shame the adverts were really really bad themselves though as in like had some really weird rapping music because obviously that was big back then um but the animation was all right for the robots uh right so let's get these guys open right so here he is in his fully combined um stealth bomber mode and i can't tell you how much i love this guy now <clears throat> there's i want to always like giving a bit of a story of how i came to own everything um but before i actually get to where i actually purchased it i remember getting the guy at the back smoke screen um from a guy in shepparton that i've spoke about numerous times um he was in a box of old bits and I didn't have a clue who he was. This must have been about, I don't know, 96, give or take, five, 95, 96, somewhere around then. Hadn't got a clue who he was. I looked at him and I thought, well, he's got, looks like a transformer. And he looks like he's got sort of like a weird Optimus primed head and everything. And then I, someone said, oh, yeah, there was one called Ace of Ada. Now, this is what he was called in Europe, England, whatever you call it. Um... But obviously, we didn't get him as Dreadwing and Smokescreen. We just got him as just Ace of Ada. That was it. No name for him. That was it. Um, but I did manage to get Dreadwing. Now, in the comics, um, he was like a rebuilt Darkwing or something like that. Megatron blows up Darkwing, and then they do rebuild him and recreate him into this. And I thought when I first saw that in the comics, it was just a comic-only creation like they do sometimes. And then when I actually got this, this is a fantastic toy. It is a brilliant toy. Now, he is armed to the teeth. You can put bombs under his wings on both sides. Um, there's two hidden inside for this guy, but we'll come to him in a minute. And then he's got this, this giant Gatling gun, which fires. I'll do this in robot mode because it's a lot easier. Um, but it is just absolutely immense. I love this figure. Um... I cannot. I've got this uh, uh, practically every release of this, um, and it just looks brilliant. I love it. He's got little landing gear under here. He just looks great. Um, it looks great from the back. I like it how um, this guy, when he's plugged in, he does blend in really well. So you cannot exactly tell that he's a separate ship, apart from the fact you can see his cockpit there, and maybe. Um, but he's got the little wings that you'd find on a stealth bomber, and he's got this obviously the right shape for a stealth bomber. Um, he's just great, and he's got his own. As I said about earlier, um, see this guy had proper G2 labels, whereas some of the others had proper Decepticons. I know these are retro labels that I put on. Um, don't know what that one's doing there, but it is there. Um, but yeah, it's always a bit weird. Right, I better get on and transform this because uh, my battery and my cameras run out, and I don't have time to redo it. Now then, he is a triple changer. Um, but if I take the jet out first of all. 
like that. Now it sort of doesn't work too well. I've got another version where this works, but there's a little button in there. Actually, do you know what I'm going to do? First of all, I'm going to show you how these bombs work. It's got a little button on the top and you just push these and it drops the bombs. And it works on all of them. Um, but I'm going to leave them in for the transformation. Let's see if it works. Um, one bomb always falls out of there because it's the nature of how it works. But we'll put it in there. Now what's supposed to happen is you put this guy in and as you can see he's got a couple of missiles for this guy. And he's got a little button in there and this activates the wings. If I can do it, it's supposed to work, but it probably won't. No, it doesn't want to work. See if I can get a bomb out. Um, it works pretty well. Look, there we go. I'll need that. <laughs> now he's got a little button in there. You're supposed to push it one way or the other and it's going to flip these wings up. There we go. Got them. There we are. Right, so that's his gimmick. As you're supposed to pull him out, it don't really work too well. But this is smoke screen, and I like this guy because it really does remind me of. Um, I'm gonna take that missile out because that is annoying. Firefox, because he's got really weird little wings. I don't know why. It's really, really kind of cool like that. I don't know why. Um, and he also, if he looks very reminiscent as a transformer, it's because they base the is it the Energon? I'm sure, it's Energon Star Screen mold on this kind of mold. Um, it's got the same sort of transformation and everything. Let's see if I'm transforming quickly because we don't need him for him no more. Take these off. Oh, if I can get this poxy gun out. Um, and then we're just going to rotate the legs down like so. Open out the feet. Like so. Um, and then this bit. This bit. When I first got this figure, this really, really flummoxed me. All this bit up the top here. So you just sort of flatten those out. And then we're just going to poke one through. Get this arm through. And get this round. This is where Transformers you started rubbing on each other, you know what I mean, for clearance issues and everything. And then we're just going to rotate this around, bend that down, and this has got to fold one way. I can never remember which way it goes. That's it. Uh, that is going to fold just there. You bring all this section down, and then these are just going to sort of clip into a section just around there, and fold the wing out to this side. And there we have him in robot mode. And he's very, very poseable. He's got ball jointed hips, um, loads of joints on his elbows. Um, bit crap hands though, but they can hold these guns in particularly well, like so. And he looks absolutely mean as anything. Oh yeah, I suppose the tab in. Um, and he's got a great head sculpt, and he's got some great light piping. As you can see, it's very Optimus Prime reminiscent, but I love it. I love that. And you can sit happily over there and he'll stand up happy as Larry. Right, so let's come back to this guy. Now, this guy, um, you're supposed to flip those wings away actually. Like that, and they just come up to the side. Like I said, this guy is a triple changer. So you put the landing gear away. You bring this around. Um, there's a little button here just on the back. And you push that in, and that starts the transformation for these. Push that out. Again, the little button is just there. There we go. And then flip those out. Then you're going to come around to here and just rotate this around. And that is going to become his tank mode. And how I know some people do not like it, but I really like it. I mean, yes, it's got very, very thin tank treads here. Um, but he does have some wheels underneath there, so you can sort of push him along and everything. Um, and he's got the bombs still, and I think it looks all right. I mean, it could have done with a lot more paint apps in here, but, you know, that's brilliant. Right, I'm going to show you how this works now. This is his Gatling gun, and what you do is you just hold it. I'm going to try and do it so I can see it on camera. And we're going to aim it at um, smoke screen, and then you just twist this, and it should... There you go, look at that. It just sort of fires one out. And you can just rattle off a whole barrage. It is, works brilliantly. I love it. Now we can get rid of these missiles. And he survived, amazingly enough. Um, but that is his tank mode. Um, I really like it. I always dropped one of his bombs there. Anyway, right, let's, let's take these bombs off now, because otherwise they're going to become very annoying very quickly. Right, so that is his tank mode. Um, I'm not going to show that dread roadblock bro block even, and the crab ambush, but I will show his robot mode. Just because they're only really for the Japanese one, and it's a very weird thing, and you know. Uh, right, so we're going to come around here. Let's do the legs first. Let's disconnect. Actually, no, let's re put those in there. Like so. 
then they're just sort of tabbed in and you just got to work them loose on either side then you're going to bring them out and around and then we are going to, before we do anything else um, we are going to, what are we going to do next? We are going to free up, you've got to sort of like do multiple things, you've got to free up these arms, they're just sort of tabbed in into these bits in here. It is a bit of a pain, especially some of them. And you sort of raise them up, that means you can get him moving. Then we come back down to here, flip this section up, but now this has got to rotate to the side over here and not get in the way of anything else. And then you can fold that back down. Um, well, actually, before we do that, Let's come around to this bit, right? Before we do that, so as you can see, you've got to do loads of things at once. And then we can fold these in, like so. I can get them in. That rotates in and clips into place. As you can see, there's a little tab in there. It's a pain in the bloody ass to get in. There we go, let's just snap into place. As you can see, it's all going on now. We just Before we do that, we've got to get the head out of there, otherwise he's not going to stay in position. Um, then we get this now up and out of the way and then we can close that up and that will stay there fold his little toe out and then we're almost done get this out of the way bring these round these are going to become his arms now I'm not a big fan of these arms because what happens is you've got to push these little tabs in and then we rotate this bit out now I can't remember if it was this one but it really does feel like they want to break as you push them in like that and this one doesn't really want to stay in there because I think that was the one I sort of broke or it's really because as you're trying to push you put too much pressure on it and everything but we'll come to that in a minute right, and you've got to sort of like angling forwards yeah I think I broke one yeah you can sort of see it just snapped inside there so it's really loose that's why it doesn't really stay in on robot mode, so I just sort of like, um, just, just leave it easily tabbed in, like so. And there we have him in robot. Now he can hold these guns as well, um, and he's got this giant over-the-shoulder Gatling gun, and it's it's actually really good. Uh, the legs are a little loose on mine, that's why he doesn't want to stand up. He's very porky, um, a bit of squat and everything, strange head sculpt. Um, a bit like a shark to con, I think some people call him. But he's really good and a sign of the times. I mean, you know, sometimes you can say they're ahead of their times. Look at this. I mean, this kind of reminds me of... Actually, no, it doesn't. Don't worry about that. I was going to say um, he reminds me of uh, Beast Wars Rampage, but it doesn't... Not really. It's just a picture. But he does can move his head, and he's got some great light piping. It, overall, I love these two figures. I really do. Once you can get him to stand up, I don't think he comes with any heel spurs. Um, no. So you just got to angle him. Heel spur would have been great for this guy. We've sorted him out no end. But they're just two great figures. Um, the, if you're into good figures, these are ones you should own. There's been loads of versions of it. You could get the Robot Masters, the Giant Bomb and somebody else. Um, you had the Robots in the Skies version, which is just as good. Um, yeah, there's a couple of others, I think. There was an unreleased Generation 2 version of a Megatron in this, which is all black. Um, brilliant figures. I love it. Right, this has been Graham, the Collector 75. Uh, I believe that is the end of this review. Uh, feel free to comment, rate, subscribe. Hit the notification bell, and you can support my channel using the coffee link below. Um, yes, I shall see you all next time. Bye for now. Hello everybody else. Oh, everybody else.